Let's move on to the next group of products that they can choose from. We're going to click Add Option back up here and scroll down a bit and we have a new option group. This option title will be Mugs. For this input type, let's go with Checkbox. And we'll say that this one is not necessarily required. So we're going to deselect that. Add products to option. For now, we're going to just go with on the go mug and campers thermos. Add selected products. And we have these two mugs. We're not going to worry about setting any default here. We're going to say that this option and you'll see why I've done a few things that you might be questioning here in just a second. But let's say this group is entirely optional. We do need to set a default quantity because again, since we're using checkbox, checkbox does not allow user defined, even though it implies that we can do that here by offering this checkbox here. If you do this, if you mark this or not, it doesn't do anything if you choose checkbox or multiple select. So again, just remember that. So the default quantity in this case is the same as just saying, this is the quantity that you get when you select this option. So we're just going to put one for both of these. We're assuming that if a customer wants to add one of these, most likely they're going to be adding one. And regardless, they don't have the option to change that anyway. So we're just going to give them the option to add one. With checkboxes, of course, they can add either one of these or both. And since it's not required, they have the option to choose none of them. Let's add one more group. We're going to click Add Option, scroll down, and we're going to do something a little bit different here. This option title is going to be our Sunrise Mug. And we'll say that this input type is Radio Buttons and that this is required. What we're going to do is we're going to say that in this gift basket, Regardless of whatever other options they select, the gift basket always, always comes with exactly one Sunrise mug. That We don't want that to even be an option. We don't want them to be able to change that to something else. That's just part of what this product is. So to do that, you do radio buttons and required, and then only add one product when you click add products to options. So we're gonna click this button, Choose our Sunrise mug, add selected products, mark this as the default. We're going to put default quantity as one. We're not going to select user defined. And so no matter what, there will always be exactly one Sunrise mug included with whatever other combination of options the user chooses. So with that in mind, let's go back up to here to mugs very quickly. And let's change this to additional mugs. I didn't name it this at first just so I would avoid confusing you, but keeping in mind that they're always going to have this mug, they're also going to have the option to choose an additional mug. And of course they have to choose some coffee to go with it. That's also why I kept this group entirely optional because they're already getting a mug and some coffee. Then we're going to say, if you want some other mugs, sure, go for it. If not, that's fine too. Now, we probably also want to reorder these a little bit. Notice we have this icon that we can drag and drop. In order to use that though, you need to collapse all of these option groups. So we're gonna click this arrow, click that arrow, and the one next to coffee as well. Let's put Sunrise Mug at the top. That way it's just 100% clear that that mug is coming with the product bundle no matter what. And then coffee next, since that's required. And then we'll keep additional mugs at the bottom since that's our entirely optional group. And as usual, we want an image for this bundle. I'm just going to use a generic image of several different coffee beans. It doesn't necessarily mean anything. If you have a picture of the, your products in a gift basket form, that would be fantastic. I don't happen to have that. So I'm going to use a sort of generic coffee picture. Search engine optimization, URL key, let's just go with sunrise-gift-basket. Let's change the meta keywords to coffee and mug. And uh, this meta description, 
We want to probably get rid of the title that Magento sometimes likes to insert at the beginning and also shorten this quite a bit. And we're not going to worry about anything else here. So let's go ahead and save this product and we'll take a look at it on the store. So click our account name, open the customer view in a new tab. And again, we should be able to click on coffee or mugs. And here we see our Sunrise gift basket option. We'll click on that. Notice it has the minimum price range to the maximum price range based on the available options. So here's what it looks like as a customer is viewing the, the main page. When they decide that they want this, they're gonna click customize and add to cart. And that's where the options come up. So notice, first of all, Sunrise mug. This is the mug that we said is always automatically included, exactly one, no matter what. Notice they can't deselect this, they can't change the quantity or anything. Again, that's just part of what comes with this gift basket. Then they're required to choose one of these two kinds of coffee, the regular or the decaf house blend, and they get exactly one quantity. And then they have the option to add one on the go mug or one campers thermos or both. So our subtotal is 2198. As they select additional options, that will change based on what they select. And of course, we left this optional so they don't have to choose any of these if they want. And then once they're done, they would click add to cart and go through the checkout process just as they would with any other product. So that's how bundle products work. And now before we finish, I just wanna mention, there are two more product types that we're not going to cover in depth, but I do want to give you a quick explanation of what they are. Let's go back to our catalog page. These two product types you've probably noticed as you've been following along the tutorial are virtual product and downloadable product. Quick explanation, virtual products are non-tangible products such as services, memberships, subscriptions, maybe even warranties in some situations, things like that. Downloadable products are files that the customer receives a download for after their purchase. So this could be something like MP3s or even documents or image files or basically anything they have to download. Whereas a virtual product is similar, but it's not something they download. It's some sort of non-tangible, non-downloadable thing or service that they're purchasing. So at this point in the tutorial, you should be familiar enough with Magento's various product types to determine what product type best suits the products that you are selling on your site and to configure those products properly in a way that allows customers to find and select what they want with ease and to customize or modify those items when you want them to be able to do so.